and welcome to Collector's Lot. I'm in Devon this week at this distinctive barn built by its owners only a decade ago. It's as rustic looking on the outside as it is on the inside, with lots of green oak and Douglas fir throughout the rooms. Today, a collector who only sees things in black and white, he's mad about Guinness, and Dame Hilda Brackett goes back to her salad days with a collection of leafy Carlton ware. First, though, David Stafford limbers up his lips to meet a young musician and his famous hero, who both have a hankering for harmonicas. How did it all start, Steve? Harmonica collecting. I suppose when I first, uh, I first started singing on stage about the age of 16, I, um, I got so jealous of the guitarist going and doing solos, so I thought, oh, I want to do So I followed the traditional path of lead singers, of picking up an, a portable instrument that you could pull out for the occasional solo. So you, you stand there and wail the, the blues solo in the Yeah, middle. just the traditional wail at first. But then by the look of things, you, you started taking it rather seriously. Yes. Um, I've always been fascinated about the different models that they have in, with, with harmonicas, uh, with the diatonic model, which was the first model invented, um, right the way to the chromatic, which is a relatively modern instrument with a button on the side. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the unusual ones. There's one here, which looks like a sort of uh, carousel that you'd get somewhere. Actually, it looks like one of those date stamp things. Yeah, it's quite library. an amazing instrument. Why, how many are there? Six? Yes, there's six. This is called a sextet. Um, and uh, made by Hohner, um, mainly. This is actually, I believe, a copy of a Hohner made in East Germany. I bought this in Berlin by the Brandenburg Gate. and. Uh, well, it's quite a special harmonica. Yeah. There's uh, a very pretty gold one there. Yes, this is uh, the Marine Band, which is uh, the most popular um, harmonica probably in the world. Yeah. Uh, this is the 100-year anniversary model, um, and this is really your classic blues and folk harmonica, um, allowing you the pitch bends. Very airtight, and probably the, the most sold harmonica in the world. There's a very, very tiny one there. Tell us about that one. Well, this is uh, one of the smallest harmonicas in the world. Uh, this one is one full octave. Okay, this yeah. one goes from C to C, um, and so it contains the, all the notes in between. Now, this is a, just a key ring. So you would have this on your keyboard. But you can play it. It does work. It's possible to play, yes. Yeah. I, I collect them whether they're professional models or whether they're toys. So who are the great names in harmonica playing? Well, if you're talking about blues, then I'd say Sonny Boy Williamson, Little Walter, or Sonny Terry. If we're going through folk, then Bob Dylan and Van Morrison are very popular. Jazz, there's some greats in jazz, Toots Thielmans and Stevie Wonder um, very much. But the all-round great really has to be Larry Adler. Larry, you're the man who pretty much single-handedly took the mouth organ, the harmonica, from vaudeville and the street corner onto the concert platform. What, what makes a, a great harmonica player? The ability to express himself musically. You see, you can teach technique to anybody, just as you can on the piano. But only a musician is going to play real music. And there are very few mouth organ players who I respect. A Toots Thielman on jazz. He plays excellent jazz. I have a great respect for him. You might be surprised if I tell you Stevie Wonder. He's got his own style, and that to me is the essence, that a musician should have his signature on what he plays, and those two musicians have it. Uh, Steve is doing a, a degree in the harmonica. I have tremendous respect for him. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I think he's done something that I should have thought of long ago, and I admire him, and I'm rather ashamed of myself. You could have been the first professor of harmonica yes. at Harvard. Yes, yep. Professor Adler, I rather like that. <laughs> 